Okay, so my first um, software presentation is uh, Adobe Captivate, which is what I'm going to be doing all these software presentations on. Ironically, I can't record uh, how to use Adobe Captivate in Adobe Captivate, so I've created a series of slides. So the first thing you're going to need is something like this, a uh, headphone-microphone combo, or you can just use a mic. Um, uh, last year when I did these I just held the mic, but it's a bit inconvenient, this is much easier. So get a hold of one of these and these can be purchased from JB Hi-Fi or Officeworks for not very much. Now you're going to want to open the program. So you just go into the start menu and then all programs and it will come up because I use it so much it's up there in my uh, frequently used shortcuts. And just uh, click on Adobe Captivate. The screen that will eventually come up is this one and you're going to use the first choice which is software simulation to record everything that you do on the screen and you can um, uh, take the students through any of the software or uh, things that they might want to find on the internet step by step by simply recording everything on the screen. This window will come up and it's a selection of how much of the screen to record and also the kind of recording and the best thing for you to do is to record full screen so just click this little radio button and monitor one which is the only one you've got you're clicking the full size of the screen area and choose full motion and then you're ready to record and then you go down to the record button and click record a uh, little countdown will begin and as soon as it goes after the one uh, whatever you do on the screen will be recorded and when you've concluded that you hit the end key is here on your keyboard and that will then process the video and at the end of the processing which will take different amounts of time depending on how long your demonstration is you'll get this screen if you want to do any editing you can edit your video down here I, I generally don't bother doing anything like that you can play it back for yourself to check that it's all worked nicely with sound and all of that sort of thing and if you're satisfied with that you can then move to the next step so you click on file go down to publish it's also a shortcut you can publish this directly to YouTube if you feel <laughs> you want to do that um, but just click on publish this screen will come up and there are different formats um, you can choose whichever one seems to be appropriate the flash video will play on most of the machines we have at school uh, you might find that it doesn't play on the iPad so if it's a demo for iPad that's probably not a good choice a nice safe one is to click on this media turns it into just a regular video MP4 which you can select from the pull down menu give it the title and put it somewhere where you can find it these are fairly heavily compressed so you're probably safe to save it onto a USB or you might want to save it centrally where the kids can access it and if you're using the network drive the collaboration folder is the place to do that and kids can access material out of the collaboration folder once you've satisfied yourself you can then click on publish and uh, it'll be done. And that's the end. Thanks for listening. I'm now pressing the end key.